Hi, I'm Steve Thompson, president of Emory Thompson Machine. I'm Christy Brown, vice president of sales and marketing. Welcome back. Yes, welcome to this week's questions answered. Christy, why don't you go first? Okay, so I had a question of when should I change my scraper blade springs? Your scraper blade springs are these little guys right here on a smaller machine and as the bigger machine, obviously they're bigger. But these springs only need to be changed out at least once a year unless you are in heavy production. There is a chart in your manual that tells you how many hours per week that you do run and how often you need to change these. Now, a thing that I do tell my customers is, is when you get a new set to the naked eye, it's going to look just identical to your older ones. Please, whenever you take off your old set, put them far away, throw them in a the trash, whatever you got to do and keep them separated from the new set because the tension is definitely different even though you can't see it. But over time, because these little springs is what's putting pressure on your blades to scrape your barrel walls. So if you start notice an increase in batch time by a minute, two minutes, that's a good sign you need to change your springs. Good explanation. Mm. My Italian ice is separating and I've got a brand new Emory Thompson. That was the customer who called just a few minutes ago and I thought <laughs> I'd use his question today. Uh, he's got a new CB350 countertop Emory Thompson that makes six quarts and we tell people that it makes uh, ice cream in approximately eight minutes and Italian ices in about 13 minutes. He was making Italian ice but he was running it for the eight minute time frame. So he was pulling out on the soft side, then putting it in the freezer, and by the next day, some of the flavor had bleeded to the bottom of the can. Uh, that uh, is easily remedied. Uh, he needed to freeze it a little bit stiffer, uh, 13 minutes. The higher the sugar content of a product, the longer it takes to freeze. So ice cream is the easiest to freeze at eight minutes. Uh, gelato is low in fat, but high in sugar, so it's about 10 minutes. Uh, dairy freeze about 12 minutes and Italian ice is 13 or 14 minutes. So that was a simple answer. Just freeze it a little bit stiffer and your product will be great. Well, that was fast. Yeah. My door, hold on guys. Ooh, this is heavy. a 24 quart dasher. My door doesn't close easily when after I install my dasher. So the trick of the trade is, is to put your blades at 12 and six o'clock and your bushing sits on the end of this dasher. Putting your blades at 12 and six keeps the even tension on the dasher instead of it being like this and it kind of just barely cockeyes down. When you go to shut your door, it's not gonna shut super easily. So putting your blades like this or your dasher and then you'll be able to just shut your door completely smooth. Perfect. <laughs> Every Emory Thompson comes with lifetime technical support. Even if you didn't buy it from us, uh, if you picked up some 50-year-old clunker, you still have lifetime technical support. And we're available seven days a week. Uh, one of the examples of what we do with our lifetime technical support is not so much that something's gone wrong, but uh, Christy helping you on Italian ice flavors, uh, or uh, uh, me uh, helping you on uh, simple repairs, Mike, our senior tech, uh, working on the harder repairs. Uh, but one thing that often comes up and we suggest, uh, all three of us, is if you're doing a new installation of a machine, you've got a brand new store, the code for your town is probably going to be number 12 wire. The lower the number of the wire, and I've talked about this before, the lower the number, the thicker the wire, the more electricity it can carry. So the city says hook up your CB350 with number 10 wire, and uh, what we suggest is we know that your business is going to be wildly successful beyond any comprehension that you have right now of how big it's going to be and someday you're going to need a larger Emory Thompson machine. Well while the walls are all torn up and open, uh, run a heavier wire for that CB350. It's only going to cost you about 60 or 70 dollars additional at Home Depot to buy a better grade uh, heavier wire than it would uh, the lighter wire. But it could be $1,000 next time you want to upgrade your machine because you got to close the store, you got to tear open the, the walls. Uh, so give us a call and we'll explain that one to you. But we want to set your machine up just like the rest of your business uh, for uh, the long haul, for growth of the business. Okay. Where can I find my manual? I know this has already been talked about before, but then also I got the same question in the same 
same sentence of how do I change out certain parts? Well, good news. Our manuals are always online, no matter how old your machine is. And even if you can't find it, give us a call. We'll walk you through it, how to find it, or I can email it to you. Um, another thing is, is I have how-to videos that I can send to you if you are not certain or 100% positive on how to change your springs, how to change your O-rings, how to change your gate springs, gate O-ring, door, you name it, I prob probably have it and can help you on with, with that. And aren't some of those videos built into the new, uh, newer IOC uh, they control, are. The they are on the, control. Yep, they're on these new machines. They're already on there. But if you have an older machine and you need um, some help on changing how to change a certain part, just give me a shout and I can tell you how to do it verbally or I can send you the little video on just that specific thing on how to change it. And the videos uh, built in for late night watching when we're not available <laughs> feature your hands. <laughs> yes, my arms. Shared by Lloyds of London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Last question, right? Yep. Okay. Um, let's see what I had. Um, a lady was asking about uh, the formulas that we have. Uh, we have uh, 400 and I think 484 how to make videos and increasing uh, every week. Uh, so you can find a lot of our formulas there for free. Some of the formulas are CB350, some are 12 quart, some are 24 quart. So her question was, uh, I've got a 12 quart recipe from you uh, on uh, making a certain product. Let's say it's vanilla. Um, how do I translate that up to the 24 quart machine? Well, it's really pretty simple. It's just doubling it, uh, so that's easy. And uh, the uh, going down from a 24 quart down to the uh, CB350, for the most part, is just dividing it by four. Uh, there are a few little exceptions, but we make note of those. So it's pretty simple to take our formulas and adapt it to the size uh, machine that you want. Uh, when I make ice cream, uh, to me it starts off as a mathematical formula. There's got to be so much sugar, water, and flavor for it to be in Italian ice. Or in ice cream, we have minimum amounts that you can put into the machine, and uh, you, that's the minimum you can put in. You can also go up to the maximum, and then you adjust the flavors accordingly. But, you know, most everybody who calls here, who wants to go into the ice cream business, the first thing they say is, the only thing I know about making ice cream is I love to eat it. Yeah, and, it tastes and, good. And they're worried. <laughs> and, and we say, don't, you know, forget about it. Don't worry about it. We're going we're gonna to take care of you. We're going to, for free, walk you through all the steps of getting set up. Everything we do is for free except for selling you a machine. Uh, but uh, we're here to help you, and uh, we'll, we'll make good on that promise. Mike, how much time do we have left? About two minutes. Oh, okay. I'm going to take one more. Uh, a customer said, I'm moving my machine uh, from one location to another. Can I lie it back? Can I lie it down in the back of an SUV? Uh, the simple answer is no, uh, because if you lie a machine down, you know, even your own uh, home refrigerator could be a problem. Uh, but uh, especially batch freezers, soft ice cream machines, anything with a substantial size condensing unit in it. When you take it from vertical and lie it down, you're now allowing uh, the, the Freon gas that makes the cylinder cold is also mixed with Freon oil. And you're allowing the Freon oil to travel on the side and get up into the freezing chamber. Then when you turn it back upright, you can have trouble getting that oil to come out of the freezing chamber and back down into uh, the, the condensing unit. So the best thing to say is don't lie it on its back even for a short amount of time. Uh, and also, these machines are heavy. We build them really sturdy. Get a lot of extra help. And, uh, you know, get maybe if it's a bigger machine, you have to call a moving company. It'll be worth it because you're not going to damage your machine. You're not going to take any risk of, of hurting it by lying it flat. Yeah, and they're more top heavy than bottom heavy. Yes, that's yeah. right. Speaking so, of that, yeah, well, real quick, I had a customer call and she goes, My machine shakes really bad when I make ice cream. And I know immediately what it was. I said, how much mix are you putting in it? Oh, I'm filling it all the way to the top. <laughs> yeah. I said, let's not do that. The, the, it was a CB350. I said, the max you can put in is four quarts. And yeah. the minimum is three and a half. And she goes, oh, well, I was filling it to the top. No, six quarts is your finished product, not what you put in it. <laughs> and that, that's, that's the most honest way to measure uh, a machine. Everybody else does it. That if you took that cylinder and you filled it all the way up with water, they'd call it a 24 quart machine. We say, uh, if you fill it up to a certain level and you have air in the ice cream, 
uh, your finished product coming out of the machine is 24 quarts. It's much more honest to, to rate machines by finished capacity. Yep. I think that's going to do it for us today. Yep, I think you just gave us a 30 second warning. All right, well, All right. in 30 seconds, I'll say goodbye. <laughs> okay. For now. Goodbye. Yeah, well, yeah. well, we'll not see you, you next week. them. <laughs> Bye. Bye.